Hello guys. Feels like Christmas sitting down and doing this, I especially know. with you. Wherever story. Mike goes, the dogs go too. So at the moment we have Squidge on our lap as we, well. We don't have Piglet because she's gone off on a little mission outside. <laughs> Piglet's run off. Standard. Um, so today we're filming a q and I've been meaning to do this. Uh, I say I, as in because I have to drag Mike upstairs to actually sit in a video. Um, since way before lockdown, it was in my like content schedule for ages. I just realised your eyebrows are crazy. I'm not well, laughing well, there you go. <laughs> I like crazy eyebrows. Um, oh my god, it's so hot. It's hard to concentrate with you here. It is. It is. Come on. Um, but yeah, I've been meaning to do it for absolutely ages. I put some questions out on the Instagrams and got some questions. So are you ready? Are you ready, Andy? I'm trying to respond as best I can. Um, they're not in any particular order because I was just kind of picking them out as I um, was going along. But a lot of them are lockdown related questions. Fair enough. Um, or baby related questions. So the first question is from Susie and she says, Have you noticed any new annoying habits in each other since lockdown? Um, not that I didn't know about before. I was going to say, we've lived together for such a long time, yeah. like 10 years. I mean, it's probably more just a fact of us getting used to actually social not distancing. Um, because or I'm getting, normally at work. Yeah, um, or getting more irritated at each other's annoying exactly, habits. Exactly, because of that. So it's like things like for me with Fleur, like she doesn't listen because she's on the phone her entire time. So when you're trying to do a job, she's true. just like zombie on true. phone. Um, and for you, you're really slow at doing something. So you ask Mike to do something precise. and he does it like in slow motion, literally in slow. I'm done, just pass the knife. He's like, I'm just getting the nice care knife carefully and pass precise. it. I'm like, hurry up, give it to me now. Fair enough. Basically. <laughs> But nothing new, because we've been together for 500 years. And Nifma says, would you show us an update of River's Room? Yes, I will do that once we've finished um, adjusting. We're basically, we're basically currently testing. putting up pictures and testing. We are. Literally bed. today we're putting up pictures, but we're testing out whether or not she will do proper sleeping in her big girl bed. She has done. This question has come from yesterday, because I put up that I was converting like the day bed in her room into like a toddler bed for her um and so far it's going well she slept in it all the way through last night yeah. she'd wake up quite early but i think that's just she does that sometimes in a cot anyway mm. and then she's asleep for her nap in it now so fingers crossed we can get rid of the cot and there'll be new space and we can rearrange and i will show you i'll do a, like a river room tour um phoebe has asked will fleur ever take up golf lessons hopefully not never I think we're in agreement on that yeah, one. I've, I've managed to like mow myself a patch of grass so I can hit balls in a field that keeps me sane <laughs> during this time. Uh, but Flo's not allowed anyone. Near. I have no desire to take up golf. Like literally none. It's not that I. I um, it's not that girls shouldn't play golf. That's completely wrong. River will play golf because I really like it. But for me, it is a bit of my golf sanctuary is, time. But it's, also, golf is like not my. It requires yeah. a lot of patience. I think you've got to have that space. It's so just. It, it's not my. It's not my kind of sport. I'm. I'm more akin to doing. Uh, axe throwing. <laughs> axe throwing or like interval training like i i like any kind of exercise to be like hard and fast and then i'm done not for five hours <laughs> not for five hours okay hannah has said what was your favorite baby item when you had river favorite baby item My, and you know what mine was genuinely and this is what i buy every friend or person i know that's having a baby is that little rotating light yes yeah, so and say. still like that noise to this day Sheep. is so relaxing Sheepy. we haven't actually um got it out i wonder i don't know where i know there's one in there's one in, one london, in london but i don't know where the one here is i bet she'd love it now mm, maybe it'd be like a disco we could put it on in her room with the lights off and have a disco um lulu has asked what would you do if your wedding was this year um, we've had a lot of friends in this in yeah. this scenario two of our like our so, best friends if it was me, I would wait until next year, purely on the basis that I want to have yeah, my friends and family would. to share. And it's that big a day that it's so much fun with all your friends and family. You can kind of get married if you want, which is kind of cool. But I th for me, I'd rather share it with friends because that's yeah. what we did it for. Our party for us was never about us. It was about having a big party with mates. So yeah, it wasn't like getting married. <laughs> Who wanted to do that anyway? Um, the amateurist has asked, where are you hoping to travel to as a family when all of this is over? Well, I think LA is probably the obvious one, isn't it? Oh my it? god, I'd love to go to LA. But having said that, 
I we actually have tickets booked for September no chance. to go to Boston know. because basically right before this all kicked off if you guys watched our vlog like from just as we went into lockdown we were supposed to be going to Colorado then Palm Springs then LA um, at the beginning of April obviously that didn't happen but the flights we'd only booked one way but we'd booked them um, and the airline basically said you can change them any day up till November um, and we so I was like well I don't know if we're even gonna be allowed to travel in November so whatever but anyway I booked them for Mike's birthday one way to Boston I've always wanted to go to Boston in autumn I mean, and I thought I still want to go and run there in like another five yeah, years yeah that's not, ha not happening this year though is it yeah. but yeah I so I booked them for that because I just thought that's the one place I'd really like to go mm. um, at that time of year but we'll see I don't yeah. I personally don't think we'll, we'll be getting that flight either but yeah. um, that's where we would love to go and we'd love to go to LA I'd love to do that trip like genuinely that trip was going to be epic so it was going to be a friend's wedding in Colorado um, in, um, what was it like the 5th of April? That obviously that's been postponed. And then we were going to go to Coachella with BMW, which is like a dream for both of us because we're both really into cars. And also, Mike's never been to Coachella before. Rage Against the Machine was supposed to be playing this year. Like, we were so excited. And we were, obviously, because we were going to the wedding before, we were going to take River with us yeah. um, and basically make it a big family trip because my whole family were coming to Colorado, then go to Coachella, and then um, go to Disneyland at the end. So one day we'll do that again, I hope. Um, Laura has said, how are you both coping with lockdown? How are you coping? Pretty good. On the basis, I... I've just mentally switched off. Yeah. And kind of just gone into home mode, mixed in with working when I can, mixed in with going out on the bike as much as I can. I've got dog hair on your eyebrow. And that's because I just kissed I, My thing with, like, I have to say, like, I'm actually quite enjoying it because I had, like over the past year and a half you've been working like all hours like mm. really really not all hours but like long hours you've been out of the house and it's a lot of the time it's just me and Riv yeah and it's so nice to spend so much time all three of us together mm. I think that's looking at the plus sides because I like, obviously yeah. I was gutted that our mega trip got cancelled obviously like aside from the fact that there's a global pandemic going on and people are losing their lives okay that's the major thing guys don't think I'm ignoring that but from our personal point of view like that's what happened and having to like put a lot of work stuff on pause put you know obviously not be able to see our families sucks but on the plus side we're spending so much time together as a family yeah. and realistically and... like it, we won't until we were retired will we have this much time free to spend as a family yeah. together ever again especially you because like yeah. I feel I do a lot of child care <laughs> you were just too close Oh. <laughs> I um I obviously spend a lot of time at home doing childcare with Riv anyway, mm -hmm. um, but for you it's like it's pretty amazing in terms of bonding with Riv and spending yeah. time with Riv. So that is a silver lining. She's line not going to be happy when this is over. She's not. If she has to go back to the nursery. No dear. She will have to go. Back <laughs> oh to the god, nursery. we're gonna have to do the whole nursery like Throw introduction down again. again. Oh. Oh. Um. Stephanie has said, what are you missing most during COVID outbreak? I think if I was being honest, it'd probably be work. Um, really? Yeah. Oh my God. Because... I'm the only person that would say that. Yeah, no, but it's a different, I think, Family, travel, yeah, but... eating out, seeing friends, having yeah, but, parties. But I think it's that routine. What, what I mean by that is, like, is the routine of, like, daily life yeah it's work, a bit weird losing that the, losing that's really hard and i know it sounds tough we still we, you can facetime people online so you're yeah. still seeing family you're just not personally seeing them you know yeah travel sucks but for, for me that kind of routine of day-to-day -day life is a, it's kind of hard yeah. to get a balance yeah i'd say i miss most um one of the things that i miss the most is actually seeing the kids together so seeing riv with her cousins so i would say like i miss my family but actually I get to interact with them, like you say, on FaceTime. Like, yes, it's rubbish not being able to hang out in person, but we talk all the time, probably more than we would normally um, day to day. But I miss Riv having that interaction because she doesn't quite get FaceTime yet. And seeing the kids together brings mm. me so much joy, genuinely. Like, like we don't have many, well, very, very few um, friends who have kids. So River's only like real friends that she spends a lot of time with outside of nursery are her cousins. And so uh, I miss seeing her socialize and miss my family. 
and yeah I miss going to London as well I love London um, I miss being able to get any naughty snacks that I want to get whenever I want Nando's Wagamama's <laughs> I'd say that I cooked myself my own Nando's today you did there's Piglet I can hear her barking outside the window SB Dredge has said did Mike take much convincing to go vegan it was mm, yes yeah. and no yes and no because I had been hinting and suggesting the idea for about three years mm. Mike was like no 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 and then all of a sudden was like completely on board you have been like unwavering um and now you're like i'd say you are like you haven't broken it at all you went vegan mm. overnight whereas i have broken it a few times on holiday and things like that i struggle with fish the most i think this is another question it's like what you miss the most it's like fish and seafood um for me is what I struggle with the most. But then I think our reasoning for doing it is slightly different. Like I'm doing it for environmental reasons. So for me, I don't look at it in the sense of like, if I break it once that I'm a complete failure because it's all just, I definitely it's, think... it's like a drop in the ocean compared to how much I was eating before. Yeah. Look, <laughs> seriously, Doc. Oh, <laughs> She's literally here. got her nose. Um, yeah, it, so for me, it's more like, 99% of the time I'll be eating vegan and occasionally I'll break it mm. like when we were in South Africa I definitely had lobster but I think f for me but it's, most of the time with vegan, you are 100% health. it's health is why I've done it and in a way to try and get get something under control and I think before I kind of found the peloton and cycling I really struggled with actually having a release kind of button after not being able to run and I'll still be able to run for another sort of like 18 months probably. If anyone isn't um, up to date with this, Mike broke his hip running the marathon last April. Literally. So a year, a year, yeah, year ago. A year ago. A year yeah, ago yeah. And next week. Um, and so you haven't, you've completely, we well, went from training like a hardcore maniac running to not being able to do anything and been, I've been years of doing that to be fair, like yeah. for like the last five years running a lot. So it's been really hard mentally to deal with that. So it was a trigger point and it was a way also to try and uh, to try and get my diet better so that as I come out of this op yeah. next operation I'm really super fit, I'm healthy and I felt, I think for me it was one of those things I, Fleur showed me a load of things to read up, watch um, I obviously watched Game Changers um, was kind of the ultimate catalyst that kind of made me go well let's try it and we just went for a vegan month it wasn't Veganuary, it was before that it was I think it was like, November October, or October. I think October last year I think um, and I just felt so much better after it that I've never looked back since. And Flo gets really frustrated that occasionally, you know, if, if say... If like Christmas Day. Christmas I Day was that, like, that I won't you're cooking a complete other thing. Um, but to be honest, like, like I, I don't get frustrated. I just get, I get frustrated that you're a bit like at me because my reasoning for doing it is different. Because yeah, also, fine. if you think about it as well, before we went vegan, I was eat i would generally eat a lot healthier than you oh, yeah, sure. and because i don't always necessarily agree that a vegan diet ca is more healthy than everyone you know what i mean it's not necessarily a correlation but for you it definitely is because yeah. you eat so many more vegetables so many more like whole grains like really really good for you things whereas i ate more healthy than you to start yeah. off with in terms of like what i would order on a menu like mike would go out and get a burger and chips i'd get like grilled fish and yeah. vegetables you know what i mean so i think it, it, we're coming from different places. Definitely. I don't think I'm necessarily healthier as a vegan because I eat a lot more processed food now because of the tofu and stuff like that. Mm. Um, whereas you will. are a lot more healthy. Yeah, 100%. But yeah, big bait. Um, how do you keep your relationship healthy when you have a kid? This is a good question because I feel like we, um, we do bicker a lot more now we have River. And there is like that dynamic, especially now we're home, we're both home all the time. It's kind of like a, well, it's your turn to have her, well, it's your turn to have her. And like, it's easy to fall into that thinking of when you have her all the time, that childcare is a chore. And I think that's been a bit of a challenge. Um, because the, normally you have her at the weekend and it's like, that's your like but I daddy think, time. I, th I think the key is, is, is trying to, do it as a partnership together even though if you have a specific day that is like which is what we've really kind of not purposely tried to do but we do do is that even though you've got times where I say like it's your day to have a predominantly or it's your day to have in the morning and not the afternoon you still kind of help out with each yeah, other during just it communicate uh, and it's but yeah. that's 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 during lockdown and it's, yeah and it, and it's also I think just it's trying to spend time with each other I think probably our dynamics have been harder with 
my work life's got insanely busy this last literally since we've had River. So that's put more of a strain than normal. But I'd you say just that make, I'd say that's been more difficult than introducing Riv into obviously because at the beginning it's hard, but Riv has always been very good in terms of like she's really well behaved, she's always slept quite well. Mm. Um sorry, moving squid. <laughs> she's literally she you sit here, Scuba. Um but yeah, I do think like that's been more of a strain than anything else because it's limited the time that we can have on our own. Yeah. But I think everybody's different. Like generally like we laugh so much. And it gives you something in common that you love so much that I feel like it, it enhances your relationship as well as tests it sometimes. Yeah. Um, Daisy's asked, what is your favourite thing about being parents? I think just when she comes out with something that's just hilarious or very much like Eve, like last night at Welsh Reading, she basically read the story. I mean, oh God, that was amazing. I literally ever, I nearly cried. But she literally like read the story back to us, even though she, she didn't read it. She just remembered it back to us. But, but can I just say how amazing pages, this is? I know I'm biased and she's my daughter. It's seriously, personal space dog. <laughs> um, but she has this book. It's her favourite book. It's the um, Little People, Big Dreams Coco Chanel one. I didn't push it on her, I swear to God. She just chose it herself. She, it's she amazing. It. Anyway, so we read it, finished it, and then she starts turning the pages from back to front, looked at the page, and obviously she, she can't read, she's two, but she recited the entire book backwards. It was amazing. And I was literally looking at Mike like, from behind. I mean, she like, has there's got moments me as a part like that. Where it just makes you so happy, and you're so proud. Love you didn't get that. Then. Yeah. Okay. Genius. Um, it just makes you so like genuinely so proud. Like, and you know what? One of my favourite things at the moment is that she's just got to the stage now where she hugs you, like really hugs you, mm. and she's never done that before. It's been like the last couple of weeks that she started doing it. And this morning I went and picked her up from her bed, and she literally was like. Mm me and like put her arms around me and cuddled me so hard like this oh yes good girl squidgy 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 um and it was just the best the one thing i things like the moments the one like thing that. that i don't enjoy is the fact that i realize she's just like flirting throws a tantrum yeah um is there anything you miss now that you're vegan i spoke about that fish and shellfish what do you um, miss See, I don't miss he won't admit that he too much. Anything. I would say, like, cho like watching River eating a dairy milk chocolate, chocolate bar today was really hard. Because um, vegan chocolate is just not the same. Is, but what what I've tried to do really to stop me kind of missing things is I've not really tried to replace stuff. So instead of having like trying to have like vegan chocolate or a vegan um, like a, something that's a theoretical substitute replacement. Cheese. Cheese is like a perfect cheese. example because I love vegan cheese. Mike's really anti. But I, ju I just think don't try and replace it. Have something else instead. M make the dish completely different and then you like the dish because of what the dish is like. Not because yeah. you... Because the moment you imagine something in your head, it's like imagining you're going to have a tasty bar of it's dairy with chocolate. It's disappointing. You then have something else and you're like, oh, this doesn't taste like it because it doesn't. So, so you don't miss anything apart from chocolate? Chocolate. Okay. Really Holly asks... What's your food or drink guilty pleasure? Oh. Mine is fizzy drinks, diet, banter, more specifically, like genuinely, especially during lockdown. Is I've literally been like chugging I mean, it. I mean, drink, I'd say, be like either a beer or I love a glass of rose. Um, That's not guilty pleasure, though, is it? That definitely is. Nothing wrong with it. No, but it's a guilty. It's a, but like, what's my nor? I mean, my naughty snack, I, I love kind bars. Um, at the moment, so like having a super so tasty... guilty eating a super healthy. <laughs> yes, yeah, still not healthy. It's like it, it's no. a healthy. My guilty snack. pleasure is ice cream with cream on top. This is before we went vegan. I was say. I'm just thinking like my ultimate guilty pleasure <laughs> is only ice cream <laughs> with only cream on top. No, I haven't had that in a long time. But ice cream with cream on top so that the cream freezes and it causes like a shell of cream. Mm. That used to be my... And I suppose right now as well I would say probably like my naughty morning treat is like avocado on toast with sausage. Like the vegan sausages which are real processed with Perrinet's on. Really yeah, Nanda's Paranoise is pretty good oh, guilty pleasure, isn't it? <laughs> Caroline said, what is one thing you do or say to make the other person smile? Um, like, what do I what do I do that makes you smile? Good question. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I just stress him out. I, th I, think, I think probably when we give each other a cuddle, I think it's probably how really? I say it's like a thing to make 
because you're not you like, me, me, you're not a I'm comedy not funny, person. I'm not a funny so you person. Don't, like I'm we really had the not. biggest argument last oh night on the basis of Fleur. I wanted to watch just a comedy. <laughs> I was like, oh, Get out of this genre! Stop I don't want comedy. comedy. I'm like. God, Mrs. I just want to watch murder cases every ten seconds. So Fleur's not really I'm a popular really comedic person, whereas person. I'm. The you comedian. make me laugh by just by like, being goofy all the time yeah. and dancing with River. Yeah. So oh my I'd... god, Mike on the dance floor like at weddings and stuff is comedy. I feel like sometimes I'm funny. Funny looking. <laughs> um, blonde Tina has said, "What part of the house are you guys going to be renovating next?" Oh Jesus. <laughs> Well, actually, we, we haven't finished doing the floor the yet because obviously the builders can't come at the moment. Um, we were due to finish off the hallway floor because he, the guy that did it had a break in the end of January to early Feb, and he was supposed to come back in literally as lockdown, like happened. as the week before lockdown happened, and then he didn't, and then it's just. So we're going to finish that and then we for the rest the of the year I'm going to do Sweet FA because I am sick and tired of renovating and then I will probably reapproach it in mm. 2021 I'm with fresh eyes. I'm not sure that's going to happen, I think. I am maybe. sure. I'm not doing any more. Like, we'll finish the floor this year and then I'm not doing any more until 2021. Mm. We certainly have some TLC to the house still to do. We'll yeah, to it needs ongoing. it, but it's not like emergency. But it's just... Uh, like well, we've got the a water kitchen. Pipe to continue. Oh, we've well, yeah, but that's got... your domain. That's and outside. Also... Erin Wonderland said, "Has anything surprised you about parenthood?" I think you d you you just don't prepare yourself. No matter how many books you read, how many times people say that to you, there's nothing prepares you for what's to come in the best and worst ways. <laughs> um, you know, dealing with the black pooey nappy the very first time she does a poo was concerning to still today's poos are not much better um today's poos are worse they're stinky so smelly um just can't wait for it to be potty trained the thing that surprised me the most about parenthood is probably how much i think i moved the camera slightly <sighs> is how much i love her and that sounds silly because obviously like i knew i was gonna love her but mm. like i didn't anticipate that you would love her more the older she got like, I genuinely, every single day I love her more, and she does something that mm. makes me love her even more every single day, Yeah, which is really cool. Um, what's on your playlist right now? Uh, I've literally just started listening to Ed Shikari's new album, which is really good so far. And I've also been listening to the new Biffy track. Um, For me, it's Conan Gray. I'm, like, obsessed with it because I'm... Like a fifteen-year-old girl, basically. I've also been. To be fair, um, I've also had a bit of Bob Dylan on there. At the moment. Yeah, I love a bit of Bob Dylan. Um, has becoming parents changed your life goals? I'd say it's done opposite things for me and Mike. It's made me less ambitious because I want to be home more with River, and it's made you more ambitious because you want to achieve to provide for River. I see. I'd, I'd say I've always been ambitious though, so I don't think. I think yeah, it's maybe just, it's just I, I it's timing-wise has coincided with you like being yeah. able to achieve more do you know what i mean yeah i, I i'm just as driven but it's, by that. it's made me less work obsessed i would genuinely say before river i was like a workaholic and now i'm not yeah I agree. um who's the stricter parent definitely me. Like a thousand Whoa, percent say that but i think i think <laughs> i don't even try to claim that one no 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 you are such a pushover fleur fleur claims to be this like strict mum. But oh, no, I'm super, super soft. On but the basis I'm that the then, one. then when I said about ordering a trampoline recently, Flo was like, "No, that's ridiculous. You shouldn't be ordering that." I then got a message about a week later saying, "Trampoline arrives next week." Huh? <laughs> because I wanted it. It's basically for me. Number one Taylor Swift song from Laura. I, I knew you one. were trouble. Always. Um, shake um, it off. There we go. Oh, look at you! Really? I On the know. dance floor at weddings, um, Elizabeth has said best thing about the Land Rover crash <sighs> that you can drive it round yeah, you can drive it's it round it's a portable crash it's a portable crash I mean I must admit I'm getting quite tired of it right now after four weeks or whatever we are um, like this Bryn has asked who is your fashion inspiration Mike who is my fashion inspiration I you've got sure. terrible style I feel like oh. we've both got terrible style at the moment because we're always in workout gear Gym and gear. covered in dog hair because um, you don't have to iron it I mean let's face it I feel if you were to pick who's who I don't pick them as inspiration, but who do I think is cool? I would say like I mean, is it David um, Ga Gandhi? Is it? is it Gandhi? Yeah, the model guy. He's a pretty good-looking chap. Uh, I then. <laughs> so he's good-looking. It's 
style. Yeah, but I say his style's pretty cool. I don't okay. say DiCaprio's style's pretty cool. Really? Like, yeah, he's pretty rough. <laughs> um, when he had that beard. Yes. Favourite place, Can't Laura's asked. Favourite place to visit in the UK. Mine would be Cornwall. So beautiful. The golf course? <laughs> <laughs> um, Lily has asked, if you were to get married again tomorrow, what would the playlist be? As in, like, your first dance. I wouldn't change it, because at yeah, our wedding we had Hey There Delilah as our first dance, which was our, mm. like, our song from when we first got together. Cheesy AF, but it was our song. Yeah. And then we had um, Hall and Oates. You make my dreams come true. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then we had Taylor yeah, Swift Love Story yeah. for my dance with my dad. Yeah. I wouldn't change it. Um, Say the same. Why aren't you getting river vegan or vegetarian food like you? So I am very, my belief is that you should have nothing forced upon you until you are old enough to make your own decision. And I, she has a largely vegetable diet, but she also has meat because she likes she it. She loves me. She's obsessed it, with me, I would say. And I think it's all it's, she wants to eat most of the time. And I'd say for me, I think it's one of those things when she's old enough to make a decision to know what she wants to do. Because we're not doing it for like um, animal rights reasons and you're semi doing it environmentally, but for, it's a personal choice. So but also I, with the environmental thing, it's all about, um, the way I look at it with her as well, it is about quantity and quality of yeah. the meat that she's eating. 100%. And it's, um, you know, a lot of her meat that she eats is locally sourced, a lot of it And is... she does eat a lot of vegan options as well. She loves tofu, absolutely yeah, loves tofu. So I think when, it's, when, when she's old enough to make that decision, she can make that decision. Um, yeah, but we get a lot of questions about that. Like whenever I'm just showing her dinner, because she usually has like a similar thing for lunch, like plus say some fish or whatever. Mm. Um, I get a lot of questions about that. And I just think as well, for me, like I don't want her to grow up having not tried meat. Because I think mm. if you, if she, doesn't like it it's kind of like limiting her and like at school, experience like when she's, with food and when stuff. she's at school to be if she has like school meals at school it's one of the things that she's gonna be like oh i've got to have a special option yeah whereas she might feel ousted from her friends she might decide she wants to go on the route if she does that's cool uh, yeah. it's her choice but it has to be her hopefully choice, not by ours. the time she's older and that she's at school they like being I vegan think, won't yeah, be like to. so such a big deal like if we were vegan when we were kids it would be like a massive deal because there are a few <laughs> vegetarian kids when we were at school, but not many, yeah. and no one was vegan. Yeah, it's, def it's definitely, I feel like this last sort of two years has become a way more kind of open thing. Yeah, yeah, and I think for it's, sure. And I think it's becoming more and more. Yeah, which popular. is awesome. Anyway, that is it for our q and I'm covered in Biggest dog hair, literally covered in dog hair. Um, we will see you very soon. We're doing week weekly weekend vlogs, if you want to come hang out with us, if you haven't already. And until then, See you next time. Goodbye.